The goal of this individual level speedrun, or IL, is to beat Snow Peak Ruins as quickly as possible. Here's how to do it in under 7 minutes. Step negative 1. On a file saved in the Sacred Grove, howl at the stone to start the Skull Kid chase, skip the cutscene, and reset. This sets a flag across all files to make the game think you are in a boss sequence, meaning that when you enter another boss room, the intro cutscene will already be skipped, and the fight will start immediately. This glitch is known as Early Boss Fights, or EBF, and will save some time on cutscenes and movement in the Dark Hammer fight. Step 0. Load the run file. With 58 rupees, equip the magic armor, move the cursor back to the Zora armor, and enter the dungeon. Time starts upon taking control of Link after skipping the cutscene in the lobby. Step 1. Get out to the courtyard as quickly as possible while the powered magic armor drains the 58 rupees. The fastest path to the courtyard is backwards through the western rooms of the mansion. In the first room, use the boomerang to do a long jump attack over the gap, then blindly claw shot up through the bombable floor with no collision on its underside. The rupee count should be around 26 when Link reaches the claw shot target. Use right doors in most cases, because Link takes longer to exit left doors. Ignore the small key chest and jump down to the exposed beam over the gaping void that all mansions have. Side hop and begin a back slice, running out of rupees to depower the magic armor during the back slice. Pause within a two frame window and equip the Zora armor. Because the upward movement of the back slice began when Link was wearing the heavy, unpowered magic armor, this makes the game miscalculate Link's gravity and grant the back slice enough extra height to clear the boxes. This glitch is known as Moon Boots. Step 2 Transform into Wolf Link and enter the courtyard. Manipulate the freezer guarding the mini-boss room to turn slightly without breathing ice, then run into the freezer to give Link invincibility frames. Be attacked between the freezer and the door to clip behind the door. Transform back to Human Link, and open the door. Step 3. Approach Darkhammer, who has no intro cutscene because you set EBF in step negative 1. Wait for the ball and chain's third swinging sound, then move away from Darkhammer so it'll throw the ball and chain. Creep up behind it and mortal draw its tail to kill it in one hit. Watch a cutscene. Pick up the ball and chain mid-roll. Equip it and bombs. Exit through the left door, because it will position Link well for step 4. Step 4. Head to the second floor of the dungeon to get the bedroom key. Start by spawning inside the freezer. Throw the ball and chain to break the ice wall. Bonk, and immediately regret it. Continue regretting it. Climb into the window and line up to use a bomb to boost onto a nearby wall. Notice that you have half a heart left and consider your own mortality. Begin holding forward on the control stick during a 3 frame window to successfully boost onto the wall. Stop considering your mortality as the bottled fairy fully refills your health. Step 5. Head left. Target the boomerang over the door frame to long jump attack to the south side of the second floor. Continue on to the west side without falling. Throw the boomerang over the roof to long jump attack to a tiny ledge, then get good RNG and grab the next ledge with two hands instead of one. Climb up to skip the freezer guarding a ladder, and enter the chapel. Watch a cutscene. Step 6. Go ham on some chilfos. Put the bow away before the cutscene begins, so Link doesn't have to put it away while opening the door. Open the door and chest to get the bedroom key. Step 7. Get to the boss. Frame perfectly side hop after closing the bedroom key text box to skip Midna's text, then open the door and exit the chapel. Speak to Yetta disguised as a freezer. Do not mash A and mortal draw the freezer, you silly goose. Run to gain speed, then chain rolls frame perfectly to ascend the slopes to the bedroom door with as little deceleration as possible. Skip the bedroom door cutscenes.
Step eight, roll forward and run, then throw the ball and chain at Lizetta from as close as possible. Move forward some more, then throw it several more times as she bounces between you and the wall. Adjust position as necessary. Don't miss. Step 9. Break as many of the icicles as possible before they descend one by one so that they take less time to do so. Head to a wall. Break some more icicles so that they don't get in the way later. Line up against a wall. When the icicles begin to spin, back up and shoot a bomb arrow at the wall to knock Link back behind where Blizzetta will fall and give him invincibility frames. Swing the ball and chain to hit Blizzetta once and immediately throw it to hit her a second time and then a third to finish the fight. Step 10. Look into eyes of Yeddo. Who need mirror? Step 11. Hold between the down and down right notches on the control stick and mash A to roll straight to the portal. Time ends upon losing control of Link as he touches the portal. Rejoice. <laughs> 